So I just quickly go over how I get the VS Code set up to run our Python. So let me just turn off this one. Okay, so the very first step is to install your Anaconda, right? So after you install your Anaconda, you just go and then you install. And I assume that you install your virtual environment, set up your Jupyter Notebook, something like that. Just install the Anaconda and set up your virtual environment in your Anaconda environment. So I just assume that you did that. So that you have the Anaconda for you have all these kind of things, right? Jupyter Notebook, Anaconda Navigator, something like that. And then you go over to the, so, and then you go to VS Code, enter, and then you just download the Visual Studio Code. Click the download, should be very quick. And since I'm using Windows, so I'm just clicking the zip. Okay. I'm not going to download that because I've just downloaded already. And I save it to a USB. So this is the one that I have. And I just save that VS Code that I just download. VS Code 1.18. And save that. You will have this folder. Simply click the folder. Get inside and look for the code icon. So let me just wipe out everything. Hold on. Let me. Let me do that. Copy this one to another. Let me just save that to my this code task JSON. Okay, and then I let me let me just wipe out everything. Refresh. So I just delete everything, right? If I go to this one, I delete this one also. So now everything is wiped out. So for you just go to whatever destination and I just pick D drive and I'm going to create a new folder, a work folder, just call it VS Code work folder work. Okay. And then I'll put everything inside. Then I'm going back to my USB key and go back to VS Code and then I look up for the code editor, the VS Code. So I have it open and you see nothing here. The first thing to do is go to extension or control shift X and then you will have a set of extension and I just um, install this one. So uh, it's recommended. Let me just in, uninstall it and then I'll do it again for you. Okay. Control shift P. Okay. And then you go to install extension. You just call install extension and then you type, let me see, hyphen. Then it's going to load because you should have more install this one install it just wait for the installation okay so once it's installed then you can go back here explorer and then just open the folder and then you select the folder that we just create it's this one visco word Select the folder and we have nothing here, right? Visco Word. Then we can add new file. I just called it uh, Visco Test Pi. Okay, just call it Visco Python dot test. Oh no, dot py. And then you can start. Let me see. I'm not going to install PyLint right now. Okay, so it's fine. And it's going to point to, okay, and have to select a Python environment. When you go down here, simply click it. And then you can see all the environment. This is the default Anaconda environment. You should which, see this one if you just install the Python, uh, the Anaconda without adding any virtual environment. But I just add to my tray and it has env1. So I just pick this one, click it. And then I'm already in this 
environment. So because I know I have the pandas, so I just import pandas. I just install pandas data reader, right? It's already installed. So I know, and I'm going to pay Apple stock price. So um, just call it df equals pdr dot get data yahoo because I'm going to use the yep data yahoo and then I'm going to get apple a a p l okay and let me print the first let me print the first five rows and the latest five if I press Control Shift Boy, I have nothing. I can't run any task. So let's just click it, build, and create a JSON. So just click Create JSON, and then just press Others. Okay. So when you press Others, then I let me grab the file that I just saved. Okay, that's the file that we just saved, right? Then we change, when we change the label, the label is the one when we press Control Shift Boy. We have echo, this one is the echo, it's the name, right? So I just called it my tray. It depends whatever name, whatever name, okay? So I just put, um, my tray the type is going to be shell it doesn't matter and i'm going to copy the path this is the path of your virtual environment so just put it underneath command so this is the format of json it's a double quote with the key and the values is also inside double quote so just call the path okay so i'll just show you the path I know my path in Anaconda is inside ENVS. Anaconda, ENVS, inside my environment folder, which is my tray, and whatever name you can call. And then you just scroll through this one. It's a Python. When you right click that, click properties, then you will have this one D drive Anaconda tree. And then you just add your name, uh, add the python.exe. Okay, so that's basically the path you specify here. And also you need to add um, these two, the arguments, right? That's the arguments, ARGS. So basically what I did is just paste this one and you change the path and then copy this one group and you have to follow these exactly the same so i'm going to save it by either Control s or go to file and then Control s so i just saved the task.json so it's going to be inside the vs code folder it's going to have the tasks so let me see if i can run this if i press Control Shift Boy. So it's going to run here. Hopefully it works. Press any key to use. How come? Oh, I see. You know what? <laughs> because I didn't do print. Just print the first one. Just print it. Okay. And then I press Control Shift Boy. Just to run it again. Hopefully this time it works. Oh, how come? Oh, go shift boy. Yeah, so it's going to run. So I get it, right? So I have the first five rows of Apple and the latest five rows of Apple. Oh no, only the late. Oh yeah, here. So it's going to execute the task here so that's basically the setup of vs code on windows 10
，OK，Thank、okay, you， 拜拜。